welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on Google Cloud Platform. To do this, I'll install Ubuntu using SSH, install no machine application, and create a firewall rule so we can remote into our Ubuntu. To begin, let's go to our Google Cloud Platform. On the menu on the top left, click that and go to Compute Engine and click VM Instances. Let's create a VM instance, click the Create button. So name your instance, name it to whatever you want. For region, pick the region that's closest to you. And for zone, you can pick whichever zones you want. For machine configuration, you can increase the CPU and the memory. It's currently configured with one CPU and 3.7 gigs of RAM. I'm going to increase it a little bit, but you want to increase it to the best performance that you need. Keep in mind that the cost will increase every time you increase the speed and add more memory. Scroll all the way down, you should see boot disk. Let's go change that. For operating system, we want to use Ubuntu. It's default to Ubuntu 16, but you want the latest, which is 20.04. For boot disk, we're going to increase that to 15 gigs because Ubuntu is going to take up 2 gigs of our hard drive space. Then scroll down and click select. For API access, we don't actually need that, so we're going to disable it. And that's it. Click the create button. I'm going to fast forward this part, but it shouldn't take too long for it to configure. So now the next thing we want to do is SSH to that. Click SSH. So first, let's update Ubuntu. So execute this command. The next thing we want to do is execute the upgrade command. Type the clear command to clear the screen. And I made a mistake there, type clear. Now we're ready to install the Ubuntu desktop. So type this command. It will confirm that it will install two gigs on our hard disk. Click yes. This installation would take a few minutes. So I'm just gonna fast forward this part and skip all the way to the end. Now that that's done, Let's now install the No Machine application so we can remote in to our Ubuntu. Go back to your browser. On the new tab, type nomachine.com. We need it for the other operating system for now, so click this link. If you scroll all the way down, you should see the Linux version, so click the download button. We want the 64-bit version, so click the second one, the one with a .db extension. So we want to find the link of this download button. So to do that, right-click on the download button and click Inspect. So on the right side, you should see the code for that button and should also show you the link for that button. So let's right click on that and then copy the element. Then open a text editor. Select new document and paste the element that we just copied. And we're only interested on the web link, so let's eliminate the rest, starting from HTTPS all the way to .deb. Now let's copy this whole thing, then go back to our Google Cloud Platform SSH. I'm going to clear this and we're going to execute the wget command and then paste the link that we just copied. Then hit enter. This should now download the no machine application to our Ubuntu. Now let's install it. Type in this command. And we want 
the no machine which is this one over here hit enter while that's installing please consider subscribing to this channel if you enjoy google cloud platform tutorials so that's done now the next thing we want to do is go to our firewall go to your google cloud platform click on the menu scroll all the way down go to vpc network and select firewall these are our default firewall rules we're going to create another one which by clicking create firewall rule we'll name this one as no machine then scroll down Look for target tags. We'll enter no machine there as well. And for source IP range, we're going to put 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. For TCP, you want port 4000. Now click create. Now let's add this rule onto our VM instance. Go back to the menu. Go to your compute engine and click on VM instances. Click our VM instance. Click edit. We're gonna add the no machine firewall rule on here, so scroll down. You wanna go to network tags and put the firewall name that you added. So in my case, it's no machine. And then scroll all the way down and click save. So that's ready, let's go back to our SSH. I still have mine open here. I'm going to clear this. Let's log in as root, type sudo s, add a password on the root user, then enter the new password, which won't show up, and then retype it. Now that we've added a password on our root account, let's edit the sshd config. Enter this command. And then hit enter. This should open the file. And then scroll all the way down. Look for password authentication, which currently says no. So change that to yes. Then press Ctrl X on your keyboard. It will ask you to save it and then override the file. Now we're not going to use root directory to log in. We're going to create a user that will log into our Ubuntu. So to do that, we're going to add a user, type in add user, and then the username. It's going to ask for the password. And then we'll ask for your name and some other stuff, which you can just hit enter. We'll ask to confirm, press Y for yes. Now let's make this user an admin. So enter this command. And then we want it to be a sudoer as well as an admin and specify the username. Okay, so we're ready. Let's reboot this. While that's rebooting, let's close this and let's open a new tab on our browser and install no machine on our computer. I'm going to download the Mac version, click download now, then install that application. If you're finding value on this tutorial so far, please hit the like button and help me out. We're going to continue installing it. I'm just going to fast forward this part. And now it's done. Click close. I'm going to move it to trash. When you're installing this on a Mac, sometimes you might get this error. And all you have to do is go to system preferences and allow the application to run. Now that that's installed, I'm going to go open no machine. This gives us instructions to add the IP address. So click continue. So to add the IP address, click new. Leave it at NX, click continue. It's going to ask for the IP address. So let's go back to our Google Cloud Platform. And then copy the IP address. Now paste that as a host. 
port is 4000 which what would configure the firewall click continue we want it under password because we created a user we're not going to use a proxy click continue this one name it to whatever you want I'm going to name mine Ubuntu and I'm going to create a link on the desktop so I can easily access it click done and we're ready to connect double click that it's a normal certificate fingerprint error so we're going to click yes on that it's going to ask for the username so we have it a stuff box and then the password I'm going to save that and then click OK click yes on this so these are a shortcut you're going to need to press Control alt 0 to go to the menu and to resize the screen you need to click one of these buttons I'm gonna click don't show again click OK you can go through all the settings here but I'll stick to the default one thing I forgot to set is the screen size it's currently set to our screen's full resolution so to change that press Control alt 0 this will give you the no machine menu now click display then select fit to window and then click done click done again this will now allow us to resize the full screen based on that window now click next on this window you can click yes on this but I'm gonna click no click next and for privacy I'm gonna turn it off so click next on this window you can choose whichever software you want to install I'm gonna install Plex on this which I'll create a tutorial on Plex Media Server later on. I'm going to install VLC as well. And I'm also going to add PyCharm. That will install in the background. I'm going to click Done. That's it for that. Now another important thing to do is modify the power settings. So click on the menu on top, go to Settings, and then look for Power. Over here for blank screen, you want to set this to Never. If you don't set this to never, it's harder to get back in when it goes to sleep. It's just some bug on no machine. To check the download speed on your virtual machine, open a browser, type fast.com, and it will show you your internet download speed from Google Cloud Platform. If you want to know how to install Windows Server on Google Cloud Platform, here's my tutorial on that. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. I hope this video helped you.